Hello everyone, Ron Johnson here from LTL Tutoring Central, and if you're looking for tips and strategies to help with your learning, you are in the right place. I've gathered a small collection of idioms. This is the fourth video, I believe, on idioms. I have also created a playlist for idioms and a playlist for collocations. So if you wanted to just click on the playlists, you can go to those specific ones and just see the idiom videos and the collocation videos. There's several in each playlist now. This collection is not uh, with a specific word or a specific topic. They're just general, but they're they're well used idioms. They're in many places and idioms are uh, sometimes considered informal English. However, you will see these used in uh, formal uh, in magazines and formal writing and uh, in other places and books and things as well or stories. So they're quite common. They're more common than uh, most English speakers realize until you start teaching English and then you realize how common they are. <laughs> so let, let's move on to the actual idioms with some examples to help you out. Try them, have some fun with them. The first one in this collection is a cat nap and that means a short sleep during the day normally. And here are a couple of examples. I will meet you at the restaurant for dinner after I have a cat nap. So meaning I'm going to have a short sleep. Usually you're talking about 10 to 15, 20 minutes maybe. If you start going beyond that, I don't think it's a cat nap anymore. Uh, so a cat nap is a very short nap or a very short sleep. Second example, the student was so tired he took a cat nap on his desk. So again, student put down his head for maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes and had a cat nap. Next one is baby boomer. A baby boomer is a person born following World War II about the years 1946 to 1964. So if you're born within that period, you're considered a baby boomer. Here's a first example. Baby boomers have a major impact on product demand. So because there was uh, basically a population explosion during those years after the Second World War, uh, that cohort is moving through the system. And so when they were younger, a lot of products for younger people were in demand. Now that they're getting older, many of them senior citizens, uh, then obviously products for older people are becoming more and more in demand because there's a huge population moving through. Second example, Ellen is a baby boomer. She was born in 1958. So that would make her a baby boomer. Now we have call it a day. That means your work is done for the day, you are quitting for now. And it could be your actual work, but it can be anything that you're doing. If you're working on something, particularly if you're working on it to quite diligently or it's quite difficult, and just say, I'm going to call it a day. So here's a first example. Let's call it a day, John. I think we have done enough. So it means we're finished this project for today. After completing the budget proposal, the committee called it a day. So they decided that's enough for today after completing the budget proposal. Now the final one for this group is dead ahead, which just means directly ahead. Here's an example. Once you turn on Maple Street, the mall is dead ahead. So if somebody were giving directions, to someone else, they asked, uh, how do I find the mall? You can say, once you turn on Maple Street, the mall is dead ahead, meaning it's right in front of you. you. You can't miss it. Just keep going straight and there's the mall. Second example, you can't miss it. It's dead ahead. You can see how that's related to the first one as well. <laughs> there you have it. A few more idioms to play around with and practice using. A uh, cat nap very good idea sometimes to have a, a short 10-15 minute nap in the middle of the day or sometime throughout the day just to refresh yourself and get back to it. I do cat naps uh, all the time. I'm an early riser and I have a long day so a cat nap is very useful. Baby boomer, I do fall into that category. I'm just not going to tell you exactly where <laughs> and call it a day while I'm, I'm creating this video in the morning. So I'm not ready to call it a day yet, but I will call it a day uh, sometime tonight, probably about 7.30 or 8 p.m. our time, and dead ahead, that's just something that's straight ahead. 
All right, enjoy the idioms, have fun with them. Check out some of the other videos as well. Don't forget to check out my online courses. And if you need some personalized tutoring, uh, I have that as well. So just shoot me an email or put a message below if you're watching on YouTube. And you can ask any question you want or make a comment, of course. Don't forget to like the video, a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, that helps the channel. Uh, and it also helps you know when new videos are coming out. It's Ron Johnson from LTL Tutoring. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.